Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker, and teacher of journaling courses. And in this video, it is a video request for quite a few people who had questions about how I use Daphne's diary journals myself. And there were lots of requests and questions about and for um, how I can use the magazine pages in different ways for different crafts, um, what I do with leftover pages, um, ephemera that I make with it, um, all that kind of thing. So I'm just going to work my way through the questions one by one and hope that this is helpful. So sit back and relax. I've got a whole bunch of uh, Daphne's Diary related items on my desk here for a bit of show and tell as we go along. So Jacqueline, I hope I'm saying your name right. She wanted to know if I place different pages in my Daphne's Diary journals from other Daphne's Diary magazines. So when I usually make my Daphne's Diary journals, I only use pages from that specific magazine. So let me grab the magazine. This is the magazine that I used to make these two journals. So I didn't use any other pages from any other Daphne's Diary magazine, just from here. I, that's how I normally do it because that's how I can get the journal mostly being on theme or working with the same color scheme, that kind of thing. So all the pages come from this one magazine for these two journals where this was the front cover of this magazine and this was the back cover of the magazine. Having said that, occasionally I will pull pages from multiple Daphne's Diary magazines to make one journal. For example, this envelope journal that I made featuring a Daphne's Diary poster that came inside one of the magazines, I actually used um, pages from more than one of the magazines. So that happens when I pull out pages, you know, as I go through the magazine, I'll pull out pages and be like, oh, that would make a good journal page. That would make a good journal page and keep ripping out. Sometimes I end up with more pages than I need for a journal. So I'll just put those aside. I'll either use them for one of my projects or I will put them aside for a different journal that doesn't have to have all the same pages because I've just put aside pages that didn't fit in those journals and then when I get enough and they all work together or you know suit my eye to work with a the theme and flow well together then I'll put them together in a different Daphne's diary journal for example and that's what happened with this envelope journal it was ended up being a bit of a blue sewing ladies themed journal vintage journal and so I just gathered when I had gathered enough pages for it that's when I made it so yeah, I hope that answers your question, Jacqueline. Um, she also wanted to know what I do with leftover pages. So let me just share with you my process when I get a Daphne's Diary magazine. When I get a new copy, the first thing I do is go through it finding ephemera for myself to use in my own journal. So I'll rip out pages, I'll cut out pieces like this, I'll cut out pictures, I'll cut out words, I know I would like to use in my personal journaling and I put it all into a basket so my words go into this glassine bag little cutouts just you know float around so these are examples of things I've cut out and then I have full pages that I feel like I want to use to journal within my own journal whether I cover pages in an altered book or whether I cut them up later on I have different things for that so let's put some of these at the front here that's how I first use it when I pass through the magazine I have videos on my channel sharing how I get a pair of scissors and what I look for as I flip through it for my personal journaling I also have quite a few videos doing that over on my patreon as well once I've done that and cut out bits and pieces and ripped out pages that I want for me personally then I start making my journals so the first thing I do is rip off the covers because the cover tells me what to put inside so once I have my covers I then look through the magazine a second time looking for pages to go into the covers and so usually I'm looking for yellow pages for this journal for example 
I'm looking for floral pages for this journal, for example, with more blue. So that's how I know what pages to take out of the magazine to put in here. Otherwise, I'll just rip out my favorite pages. <laughs> Basically, I'll just look for my favorite pages that I think would work nicely in a journal. After that, pass through. What I will do with this magazine is either hold on to it and flip through it again and just look for more pieces for me to journal with. Um, when I do my journal courses, I often use magazines to collage with. Uh, so I like having, you know, random magazines just in my collection that I can look through whenever I need to um, find more words or find more pictures. So what I will usually do is just stick it in there like that um, so I can use it again later on if I need to find more things. I've recently though taken to, because I don't want clutter, <laughs> I've already got enough stuff in my room as it is so I don't want to keep things that I don't need to. So I have been taking to sending the rest as just a bonus when I send out journals or packages so people don't know what's coming but I might just you know put this in with their package so that they can have a bit of Daphne's diary joy in their lives too I mean I know there's colors gone and things have been cut out but we all find different things that we enjoy so I might you know not like one thing but you like something else so uh, better than putting it in the recycling pass it on to someone else so that's what I do I have a drawer full of old <laughs> Daphne's diary magazines that I slowly give out to people to play with and because it's all scrappy, hopefully then they don't feel bad for cutting it out. Because I get a lot of people saying that they don't want to cut up their magazines. So if I can give them, you know, this one that's already been cut up, then they can practice with this and cut it up and get into it that way. So yeah. Uh, yeah, hopefully that answered your questions, Jacqueline. Then we have Alina. She wanted to know how I use my Daphne's diary journals or to show a video on that. Um, and I have like a list of people who wanted that kind of video. So I apologize if uh, I don't actually read out your name in this video, but know that I'm thinking of you and this video is for you as well. Um, so how do I use my Daphne's diary journals? I won't be um, actually showing a separate video on how I do that because I don't make myself a journal anymore. <laughs> I've got too many journals on my shelf that need to be filled. So until I use them or have a specific um, like journal course that I'm running, I won't be um, making myself a journal. So therefore I won't be making myself a Daphne's Diary journal anytime soon. But I can show you what I've done in the past with my Daphne's Diary journal. So I have two Daphne's Diary personal journals. This was the first one that I made myself and I used this one as a memory journal. I used actual items from the magazine to decorate the page. I use photos from my life. Uh, this is a Daphne's Diary page and because this one had a dog on it, I um, let that inspire me as a journal prompt to journal about my dog that I used to have. Again, these are Daphne's diary images that I cut out, just decorating the page. Um, just, you know, little pieces here. Um, this is from fabric from the lovely Denise. Hello, Denise. Hope you're doing really well if you're watching. Um, this came from the lovely Tony. Hope you're doing really well too, Tony. Um, peacock feather, uh, writing about a faith story there. Um, my ballet journey. So, you know, just getting pictures. This came from Daphne's diary as well and letting that inspire what I'm going to journal about. Just my love of ballet. Um, the Eagles is my football team I go for. Woo, Xenia, if you're watching, <laughs> I can answer your question here too. Yeah, it's a bit sad that they're on the bottom of the ladder this year. But they won this year. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, the Willow, that's the story behind willow bound journals and why it's called willow bound journals and this was the willow tree that i loved playing in when i was a child um, other memories here you know it's all random it's just fun memories that i wanted to document with photos from my life using the magazine to 
inspire me. He, he, there's pages from the magazine throughout. I stopped journaling in this for a while. Like, how beautiful is that page there from the magazine? I love that page so much. So I just put some of my favorite pages from the magazine in here. And yeah, I stopped filling it up. But um, yeah, if I ever have any memories I want to document in here, I can continue doing that. This one was my quote journal. So this was one of our journal challenges that I did maybe two years ago, where every day we were writing down a quote and decorating a page spread. So you could probably check that out on my channel if you would like, if you just search um, gratitude journaling. Um, and we did this together with some of my quote cards as well, which was a requested kit in my Etsy. So if you're interested in any of my quotes, they are available in my Etsy. Here's another one. So I had fun putting them all into this quote journal. So yeah, just a place where I could record quotes that spoke to me, that inspired me. A manifesto that I wrote about identity and just being ourselves. Inspiration is everywhere. That's one of the quote cards in my Etsy shop. This is one of my botanical cards in my Etsy shop. Um, beauty can be found everywhere. Good can be found in everyone. Wisdom can be learned from everything. That's definitely one of my key quotes. And this is one of my key quotes about journaling. I journal to say I exist and this is what life is like for me. Yes, 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 yes. That has been why I've journaled ever since I was a kid. Um, beautiful. More quotes from that kit. Another quote from that kit. Um, so yeah, just really really fun and simple to do this i want to add more beauty in the world and really good do what you can with what you've got right now yes 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 yes, yes. a journal is a book until it is written in everyone has a story let what you do be done out of gratitude for, for all you've been given so yeah that is did i stick that in there again let's say oh no it's a different one <laughs> um that is, yeah, a quote journal, another way that I use the magazine, and I hope it gives you some ideas of ways that you can use it. You see, this is a Daphne's Diary page. I just wrote on it, for example. Another Daphne's Diary page that I just let stand. This one I just wrote a word on top of. Um, this one I wrote a quote on, or two quotes on. Uh, this one I just added some journaling space. Oh, so here's a tip. Some people were asking, how do I... Um, use the pages, how do I cover up writing or cover up something I don't like on the page. I just ripped off some ledger paper, stuck it on top of what I didn't want to see there, cut this bit out, stuck that on top, cut this out, stuck it on top of this Daphne's Diary page. So that's how I use them, or how I did use them. <laughs> Hope that was helpful and inspires you to use your own Daphne's Diary journals. All right, Cheryl wanted to know, do I ever show ephemera that I make with Daphne's Diary for my journals? So I do not make ephemera from the magazine. I only make journals. The only other way I use it is to cut out the pieces, like I said. I cut out words, I cut out images, I cut out or rip out full pages so that this becomes my ephemera. I don't need to do anything with it. I don't need to turn it into a tag. I don't need to turn it into a pocket because this is enough for me. I, the picture stands alone or the word prompts me to do some journaling and all I need to do is stick that on the page. I mean, of course I could turn it into a pocket if I wanted to, um, but I am not a, what I've discovered through my junk journal journey is I'm not much of an embellishment fan. <laughs> I thought I was when I first got into this, but I just like sticking things on the page. That's as much as I tend to embellish in my personal journals. I don't really want to fuss around with pockets and flips and things. I want to be able to turn the page and see everything on the page without having to pull things out. Even though I love that interactivity, it's a bit of a contradiction. I'm a walking paradox. <laughs> I, I quite enjoy that interactivity. It's fun. But I find it hard work. I find it effort to have to pull things out and flip things over when I just want to look through a journal and flip through the pages and enjoy each page as it is. 
I don't want any hidden things. I don't want all of that. Um, for some journals, yes, I do like getting more creative and more um, interactive. But if I go to my roots, if I want to stay true to my personal um, preference for journaling, I just want to get stuff on the page and stick things on the page without fussing around with pockets and flips. So this is how I do it. I just cut them out and I'll just stick them directly onto the page. So um, yeah, I hope that answers that question as well. Um, Angela had a sort of similar question. Um, she wanted to see other paper crafts, um, I, or, or other paper craft ideas for using the magazine pages. Um, so like I said, I don't use Daphne's diary in any other way other than making the journals or for my personal journaling. Having said that, here are other ways that I use the magazine. So, and this is an example of how I use the ephemera that I cut out to journal. So I just decorated this journal cover with a Daphne's diary picture here. Love, love, love. And then let me show you, this is my collage journal for the inspiration journal course, which is going to come up on my channel. I've, I'm always ready to release that. I just have to film the voiceovers to all the videos. <laughs> um, so this one, these are from Daphne's Diary, Daphne's Diary, uh, Daphne's Diary, Daphne's Diary, Daphne's Diary, Daphne's Diary, Daphne's Diary, Daphne's Diary. These are from Daphne's Diary. <laughs> so you can see how I've embellished my own journal using my own <laughs> magazine ephemera from the magazine, <laughs> if that makes sense. No pockets, no flips, none of that. I just want it stuck on the page so I can enjoy this page as it is just looking at it with my eyes, not with my hands, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, another one or example is over here. So, so this one, every single element on the page comes from Daphne's diary for this particular page, except for the washi tape down the spine, but that's just a um, practical thing I had to do. Um, so these are all from Daphne's diary that give me joy to decorate the page so if you're asking you know what other paper crafts to show that i use um daphne's diary how i use it this is my pa other paper craft see i'm not making a journal but i'm i'm decorating journal pages using the magazine itself so i'm collaging basically this is a collage journal so i've covered up every bit of page from this altered book uh, which is an old phone book and I have created my own journal page spread using the magazine itself. So I can then journal in these blank spots that I've created from the magazine itself. Now I use these pieces from this diary planner. So if you're wondering, oh, I haven't seen those before in, the, in Daphne's Diary Magazine, I cut out things like this. So that's where I get my writing space. I just use these to add my writing space. And for people who ask that question, how do you create journaling space on top of the Daphne's diary pages that have words? This is what I do. I'll just cut out this, stick that directly on top of the words. So there's my writing space. So I've been loving using this um, journal, this diary for that purpose. I was trying to use it as an actual diary, but that failed. So now I'm just using it to cut up and um, add to my personal journaling. So yeah, I hope that gives you some other ideas of how you can use the magazine in your crafting, collaging, journaling. Um, another example is this one. So this is another altered book and this is all Daphne's diary. So you can see I've put together a collage and then journaled in the blank spaces. Um, let's have another look. This came from Daphne's diary. So I just used that as a background page and then journaled all over the top of it. Uh, this came from Daphne's diary. This was one of the craft um, items you could do in the magazine. Um, so I don't ever make the crafts with them. Um, I tend to just skip those pages, but every now and then I will pop it out and um, use it if it's an image that I like. So this dancer and the bird I put on the page. Um, now, Who had this other question? Stacy, Stacy. <laughs> I've got my notes here. Stacy wanted to know what types of magazines do I use besides Daphne's diary? 
Um, so these images come from the only other magazine I use. So let me grab it. Let me show you where it is. Here it is. In her studio. I've done a flip through of this on my channel and I on my Patreon showed how I go through it with a pair of scissors and what I look for to cut out pictures and words from this magazine to inspire my journaling. Now this one I got it once for a journal course that I was taking and for this journal course that I was running. So this is the anchor journal course and it's heavily collage based and magazine based and highly visual. So I needed magazines for this course and I used Daphne's diary and I used in her studio. And like I specifically bought this magazine for this course. So it was a one-off purchase. I never planned to get it again because it's a very expensive magazine. Daphne's diary is half the price of in her studio. So I knew that it was just gonna be one-off purchase. I got this for free, as you can see this. I have a friend who works in a news agent, so old stock um, passed to me. <laughs> uh, little perks there um, occasionally. So um, yes, this was discontinued or whatever. So um, I was very lucky to be able to get this to build up my st stock, stash, <laughs> stash of more pages to use in my journaling. So. That is the only other magazine I use um, in her studio. I try not to get magazines, one, because it's expensive, as everyone has <laughs> knows um, and often says. Um, but the other reason is because um, Daphne Star is enough for me. Like, that's the only one. I'm happy with that. Like, Daphne Star is so beautiful. I don't need any other magazine to come into my life. <laughs> I mean, if it comes into my life for free, of course, I'll take it. But um, I'm happy with just Daphne's diary. And in fact, thank you so much to Daphne's diary. Um, they send me the magazine. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Double thank you. <laughs> double bonus. Double, double thank you for that. Um, so yeah, hope that just gives you some other little pieces of inspiration for your own journaling. Um, Laura also wanted to know more ideas and ways to use Daphne's diary for ephemera. So, like I said, I don't use it for that purpose. But, I mean, you could do all the normal things that you do with any ephemera. Um, you could cut out images, for example. Let me show you. And turn that into a journal card. So, just sew it onto coffee dye paper. That's what I would do back it onto coffee dye paper so it becomes a journal card that you can write on the back of create a tag get i create tags using manila folder use whatever card stock you want and then stick it onto a that card stock and then you have a tag hole punch it you could put a bit of trim at the top um you could turn them into pockets obviously so you just cut them and then sew them like that if you wanted a, like a top loading pocket you could do flip outs so get some washi tape and then you have a flip out. You could back that with some paper, so you have some writing space, and then you have you know, a secret tuck spot underneath, or a secret journaling spot. So all your normal ephemera ideas um, with your envelopes, just get an envelope, cut out your image, stick it onto the front of the envelope, um, the way that I do with tissue paper and napkins. Um, so off the top of my head, that's just some ways, pockets, uh, tags, journal cards, envelopes. But Obviously, all the normal things that you can do with ephemera, you can do with Daphne's diary. Just cut out your pieces and play. <laughs> um, so I hope that was helpful. Oh, Carla also wanted a video on embellishing the, da da blah, 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 the Daphne's diary journals that I make. Um, but like I said, yeah, I'm not making myself any Daphne's diary journals at the moment. Um, but hopefully seeing those other journals helped uh, with that. <laughs> and meets your request <laughs> if you have any other questions about Daphne's diary let me know and I can do another video and compile them if you want um, and share uh, more about Daphne's diary and how I use it and that kind of thing or any other requests that you may have within what I do with it um, and let me know if you like this type of video it's a bit different very very chatty um, but I hope it's informative. I hope it's inspiring with a bit of show and tell. Let me know if you like this type of video. Um, the heads up, there will be more types of these videos coming up anyway because there's a lot of questions and a lot of requests I've got to get through from that giveaway video. And so if I can compile them and 
um, you, you know, compile the similar questions and show you all in one video, then that just helps me share them with you that way. Um, but yeah, I'd like to know if you like them as well. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you're doing really, really well. And be sure to join in your life because your stories matter. Bye, guys. A big thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in April. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this for another month. It really means the absolute world to me and I could not do this without you. If you would like to become a patron in May, I will leave the link below to my Patreon down in the description box. That's where you get access to more videos from me, personal updates, printables, and if you're a Ruby patron or higher, you get every single digital kit from my Etsy with a new with a new kit each month. If you would like to support my channel through a one-off donation, you can do that through PayPal to my email address or through Buy Me A Coffee. And if you would like to be part of any of my journaling courses, I'm starting them again in May for the month of May. So feel free to email me to register and I hope you have fun journaling your life because your stories matter.